yesterday, same day here. It is Saturday the 21st of October, it's about 12.30 in the afternoon. Beautiful sunny day. Uh, haven't really checked the solar situation today, but the way the sun's been, the batteries are fully charged. Anyway, enough of that. A uh, week ago, I split this hive. Put some frames of brood and food in here and some top bars in here. I've got the high top feeder on there just to build, help them build up. There are some bees coming and going, bringing pollen in. That's a good sign. Uh, so they're feeding the larva that's in there. Hopefully. The queen is in there and I've got eggs in there, but time will tell. If I don't see queen cells in there, I'll, if I don't see queen cells in here, I'll have a look through here, see what's going on. Anyway, let's get on to the job at hand. Alright, they have drained that. And there are maybe three dead bees in there. I don't think that's too bad. Got some bridging comb going on here already between the frames and the top bars. I'll take the frame out first. So this is all kept brood. There's no sign of eggs. As you belay that, I've got young larvae in here. I've got royal jelly. Yes, I've got eggs. So this is queen right, which is good. That's what I want. Now let's have a look at these. Alright, now. I already started to put some honey away. Now, I've got to get into the habit with the frames. I can just tilt them like this to look at them because the frames have got. Uh, obviously the frames, the cones are attached to the frames and it's all supported with wires, foundation. I can get away with this, with the top bar like this, because there's not, there's very little weight to this, to the cone. But I've got to get into the habit, when I pick it up and I want to inspect, I want to look at the comb, I've got to pick it up like this, tilt it up, keep that comb in the vertical axis. So then I can just turn it around like this, have a look. Now bear in mind, these top bars have been in here for a week. So have a look at this. Isn't that just bloody beautiful? This is just fantastic, I'm loving it. So it's like having a top bar hive, only in a less off box. They're going gangbusters. So what I'm going to do, I'll have a look through this other hive. I'll put this back together.
and I'll come back later. I'll make some syrup up inside and I'll come back later and pop that up again. So obviously using that to build wax. And that's important for now. Give these girls a bit of smoke. And I'll strip this down to the brood box. Normally I'll run two deeps year round for brood and food. I've got a queen excluder in here. So I'm going to run this one, try this one for the year with just one deep for the winter. When winter finally gets here. So I'll get started, we'll have a look. So... By my reckoning, this colony should be queenless. And I should have queen cells in there by now. And yes, I do. One, two, three, four, five queen cells. Happy days. And I'm going to leave all of those there. Look at this. I'd say another couple of weeks and I'm going to be able to put these top bars into my top bar hive. All right, I've got another nine queen cells on this frame. One, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful comb. Absolutely fantastic. Tell you what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to race inside. With all of these queen cells. I'm going to split this hive again. Because I've got... What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Got about 13 queen cells just on that frame. Alrighty, I've got the nuke there. So a frame of honey. I'll take a top bar. Take this frame with a lot of eggs. Take this frame, oh look at that. Drone comb there, more queen cells, unbelievable. Look at that brood, that's going in the nuke. Looky, looky. so we can go back in there some drawn frame some drawn comb for there
when it's glued on. And put the lid on the nuke. And these bees around the side there, they'll find their way home. This hive over here, that's the one I'll put the gallon feeder in. I will top that feeder up as well. I'm not, not going to check it now, I'll leave them until after I get the syrup made and let it cool down. I'm really pleased with the way that those bees are building the top bars out. It's absolutely amazing to see. Also happy with the amount of syrup that was taken by the bees in that polystyrene nuke. I'll definitely be making more of it. It's a good thing I bought sugar yesterday. Glad I decided to split that hive again after only a week. I really shouldn't have that shallow super up there but I've got nowhere else to really put it at the moment. So anyway, thanks for watching and the way things are going, I'm going to be talking to you again next week. See ya.